Good morning. This is Miss Nita and Miss Panda with the Timepiece Garden. She's doing her thing, as usual. And we're back in Garden 3. Why? Because I'm going to finish all the woven fabric. It's just that easy. I want to move on to something else and or continue with my winter prep. And to do that, I just I need to be done in Garden 3. Um, so I still have the leftover pieces there and there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fix that outer corner. And then, you know, run what I need, run what I have down the back side. Um, and I'm probably going to have to stop from there. I didn't realize that my lighter, I use those long neck lighters, because that way they don't burn my fingers, you know, when I'm cutting the fabric. It's in there somewhere. Anyway, it's the last one I had. There it is. It's right there. It's the last one I have. I didn't realize I was out. Well, not out. I've got like 20 gazillion lighters in the house, just not long neck. So, all right, neat. Um, so the thought processes for today is I will continue with these two because they're my cut pieces. Finish fixing that corner. Start the row going down the back side. That row's not long enough to finish it, but it will start that upper back corner, and I'll just kind of work my way down. Um, once I do that. I'm not going to burn any plastic. I'm going to get the logs out of the compost bin that are not going to be in there anymore because I'm going to use the pallets. Um, use those logs to build the bed. Put what's left of the dirt in the compost in that bed for next year. Does that make sense? Because it's in the back corner and that way it'll be done. And just kind of go from there. Now one of the reasons why I don't want to cut more plastic and finish that back row is I need to be able to cut plastic to make the next firewood stack. Um, even if I don't tack it in, I've got to be able to cut it and put the plastic down so it starts suppressing the grass and the weeds so I don't have to mow it again or trim it again like I've already done. So, just my thought processes for the day. Panda says she's going to supervise and I better do a good job. She might have to bite an ankle. She never bites me. She just She's all talk. You know. So, talk to you in a few. Take a good baby. All right, that's the first corner. Um, again, you can see it's not it's not perfect right there. You know, it kind of zigzags in and out. It's all right. This is the corner that's easiest to get to. I mean, this is this is where I run the light riding lawnmower. I'm not having to climb or track anything. Um, you know, long term when I get the next layers, etc., and do it right, because over time the black woven fabric will decay. It's a fact. It's going to. Um, so when I go to add. It's replacement, please, maybe two years from now. I will know that I need to start up here, not all the way down here, you know, and just run it all the way down. Um, I will also know that I need to come out far enough to not not, not have to interfere with the, the solar panel. So, but corner one is done. All right, talk to you in a few. Can't you see that? This is one of the reasons why I, how I say that, I added the extra fabric. Now this is the top row, and you see how it's grown a foot into it? Doing it like that, it makes it really easy for me to just come over and, oh look, you know, I don't have to get the riding lawnmower back here or any of that other stuff to take care of something. Having said that, corner two is now also done. Added extra here, added that spice piece there, now this is just the leftover stuff from the uh, from where I was doing the raised bed, you know. So it only goes down to there, but you can even from up here at the pole, you can see the difference in the amount of fabric. And the larger fabric, the wider fabric will keep, because you can see the grass right there at the end. You know, if I keep it this short, I got to edge and trim. I keep it this long, it comes like that side. It's not an issue. So, that's the goal. Um, again, as far as I'm going to go with this today, because these were the leftover pieces, um, the goal was not to finish doing this. I'm going to go finish making that bed. That way I can get the soil off the ground and start working on the compost pile, because that's next. Because once the compost pile is moved, then I can build the next wood rack, which is where I need the next black woven fabric. And then after that, anything that's left over will finish this row. So, that's the plan. And I'm going to go get busy. Alrighty, 
again not perfect doesn't need to be perfect yes I got some big fat logs in there um, not necessarily a lot of dirt space it's okay most of these logs are already very rotten they were in the compost area um, they're gonna rot really fast um, but what that does is that lets me put that little bit of dirt that I have left just kind of in here so that makes sense logs will stick up the sunflowers again we're growing here and soil just like that so adding that little bit of dirt that I have and a little bit of compost that I have left just to kind of level this off I'm gonna have gorgeous sunflowers out here next year all right time to go get some dirt He's right there. Did you go get it? He's right there. It's the froggies. It's the froggies. She didn't eat frogs. She's just in it for the chase. All right. Woo woo. The answer is I'm done in Garden 3. Yay! I mean, I did take the blower and I, I blowed all my black blue use proper English I blew my black plastic off because um, you know I spilt dirt I do that um, got to come back out later and harvest some green beans I didn't get it to the other day I'm not gonna get it right now either um, I'm ready to go have some lunch um, yeah little side note things Whew. I'm gonna come this way first yeah uh, my support for my tomatoes is leaning this way um, so you can tell there's now a piece of the log there trying to hold it up my tomatoes are heavy, you know, they're heavy, they're full. And having said that, I had to cut part of the nicotinas back. I was running them over and it was just easier to cut them. And that way I wouldn't get any seeds caught in the wagon wheels and, you know, pull them any place other than that right over there so I can mow them down when they reset, when they self-sow, because they do self-sow. Again, that's why they were moved over there. And bed's full, or as full as it's gonna be. And let me see if I can stand over here in the shade, and then maybe you can get a better look. Well, I can see the screen better. Um, so it was three gorilla carts full. First two gorilla carts were about half dirt, half compost. Um, third gorilla cart was mostly compost. It's okay. Again, I'm not planting here now. We're at the end of September. Um, this bed is for sunflowers next year. So the, again, and they grew here. They grew here this year, volunteers, um, and did well as long as I made sure they got a little bit of water and that wasn't a problem. So they're going to do better now that they've got some dirt. Now there's plenty of logs in here so that the roots can hang on to something and they won't tip over. Um, and the compost, rabbit manure, soil mix will just make it so they have, I don't know, some really healthy some really healthy soil next year but it's you know it's as full as it's gonna get oh sorry about that didn't mean to hit the camera all right so this is again why my tomato racks are falling over this is how big my tomatoes are I don't know if you can see that you can't see the screen there you go you can they're huge you know they're they're a handful every time and I keep an eye on them like this one will probably be harvestable tomorrow but I have several of them like that. I mean, just, they're huge. I got, I got baby cherry tomatoes on here too. You know, but I have a lot more. Where's my fingers? There you go. I have a lot more large ones. Oh, no. See that little punk right there? You see him? He's gonna die. He's eating that tomato. He's eating this tomato. Looks like he ate another tomato over there. He's coming down. All right, talk to you later. I gotta take care of him. So just a, a parting shot of the left side of the compost stack. Um, you can see all that's left is the fence and the T-post. All the, all the logs on that side are done. Half the logs on the back side are gone. Um, there's one little log and then my big two by fours, or four by fours. Um, and again, the whole reason why I'm doing this is the logs piled up here in the middle don't let enough air flow through so they doesn't, how do I say it, it doesn't decompose as well as it should. Um, so that's the first reason for doing this. So that way I end up with 
pallets here in the middle which let airflow go to both the left and right side so that's the thought process there and then again the four by fours and the extra t-posts i'll go for the next wood rack now i'm not doing that today i just i left this piece laying down over here and i need to pick it back up and lean it back up against the fence so i don't forget it and have grass growing through it or mow over it and screw up the lawnmower you know all the fun stuff so that's what i'm doing five minutes not even that move this and then we're in the house so panda's over there at the panda pool And she's moved off. I don't even know if you got to see her. Anyway, y'all have an awesome day. Miss Pan and I will talk to you later. Alrighty. I don't know if you can see him. I hope you can. It's a woolly calipeller. Um, normally there's, you see how you go from orange to orange? I hope this is showing up on camera. Um, normally there are 13 segments. Um, typically, he's black at the end, black at the front, and kind of orange in the middle. And that kind of tells you how winter's going to be. I don't know what, you know, he's... He's black and stripy. I mean, just... I don't know, I'm going to have to look that one up. We shall see. That's the monarch chrysalis on the house. Figured to share for a minute. It's not ready yet. Soon. Alrighty. So, told you I was gonna add fluffy feathers to kind of represent her hair and give her a little bit of 3D-ism um, in her hat. Oops, let me set her back down so she doesn't get all blurry. Um, I think that came out pretty good. You know? Just my opinion. <whistles> Oven's reached temperature. Alright, on to the next one. Alrighty. Number two was done. I, um, again, I like the way the feathers turn out his hair. You know. I, um, I like the pumpkin on her. I think he came out well, too. You know, hey. She's a little weeble wobbly. The hat made her weeble wobbly, so I'm probably going to have to give her a base. Um just so she won't weeble wobble so much. But uh, she's cute. I like the way her bangs came out. You know. I think overall she's awesome. All right, talk to you in a few.